There is a difference between USA poverty and world poverty. A lot of people say, well, why would you go to Brazil to help them? We have people who need help here. Yes, we do. And they are beautiful people and they need our help. But as well, there are people that need help around the world. The poverty level in the United States is roughly $11,000 a year and adding $4,000 per person per household. So if two people, you have about $15,000. A year coming in and that means that you are living in poverty if you have less than that amount of money. Minimum wage, a decent living in Brazil is about, in US dollars, $4,000, let alone those living in poverty. So if you imagine one person in poverty in the United States is 11000 Minimum wage, so basically what most everyone makes, starts at 4000 in Brazil for one person. Um, the official world poverty line is set at $2 a day or $750 a year. $750 is a big difference from $11,000. There are different kinds of poverty. Um, Eric Jensen's Teaching with Poverty in Mind lists situational poverty, urban and rural poverty, generational poverty, absolute poverty, and relative poverty. And so each one of those has their own problems and ways of getting through that and uh, needs. Some poverty is relative, as is wealth, and an internal measurement compared to those around you. So uh, that means, oh, I'm poor because I have less than so-and-so, instead of I'm poor because I don't have food, or some kind of standard like that. The solutions for each kind of poverty are different and cannot be lumped together. For those in deep poverty, so we're talking about world poverty, on global poverty, the reasons, the main reasons are increasing national local prosperity, decreasing national local prosperity, health or death shocks, things we can't control, natural disasters, failure of initiative, um, the crops don't grow, family problems and expenses, and asset depletion. The main reason for poverty in the USA are completely different. They are divorce and separation, out of wedlock child, or earnings fail. So if you think about that, the the whole way of going about dealing with poverty, working with poverty, changing, um, and helping people break out of poverty is completely different in the world than from the United States. Poverty is often transient. Most people are in and out of poverty or kinds of poverty depending on the circumstances rather than being in a permanent place of destitution. So maybe I have money until the third week of the month before I get my food stamps for the next month. There are often mindsets that go along with the level of money you perceive yourself to be in. Those in poverty often value, value relations and relationships and entertainment. Those in middle class value work, achievement, and maternal material security. And those who are wealthy often value security, privacy, and maintaining wealth. And there's a ton of uh, information on the internet about the, those different mindsets and what, what that means. The mindsets might overgeneralize and stereotype, but everyone has their own rules and values from how they are raised. We talked about worldview. They often hinder success in life. Uh, Ruby Payne um, has a book called Bridges Out of Poverty, which is really awesome. If this is something you're interested in, I definitely suggest that book to read. Um, to move from poverty to middle class, or middle class to ma materially wealthy, at least in your mindset, an individual has to give up some aspect of the relationships for achievement, at least for some period of time. So if you think of people you know who are in poverty, maybe they would have to give up uh, time that they would have with their family to take some college classes, to be able to go and be able to go into middle class. Um, there are four common ways or reasons that people move out of poverty. So what are the ways that, hi, hey, when have you seen success? Um, maybe they've had an insight, a goal, or a determination to change. So that's just those people you see are, I'm going to work and it's just going to change. It's going to happen. And they have that determination and it does. Um, sometimes people have a talent or skill. NBA players, uh, rappers who you see, you know, get famous. Um, you know, those, those stories that you hear. Um, C, a relationship with someone who guides and supports. So having that relationship, talking about child sponsorships, um, those have made the difference in those child's life. That was the thing, the thing that helped them to get out of that poverty. And then D, the pain of living in poverty. Often when, hey, you know what, I don't have an option. I cannot stay this way in my life anymore. 
and that's the decision that gives them the determination to get out of that poverty. Number 12 says band-aid help going in change something get out doesn't help in the long run although it is necessary in certain situations we always want to work towards development and, and investing in the people and then them going on and creating that that community um, interest in themselves um, it reinforces the idea that they can't do it alone that's the difference between relief and development understand overall how blessed you are if the world were strong to 100 people seven would have college degrees 17 could not read. 48 people would be living off of $2 a day or less. That's $750, $750 a year. 22 would not have electricity. 13 would not have safe drinking water. Do you really want to know a little bit about poverty? Try the rice and beans challenge or $2 a day. Doing that for a week or a month. Really seeing what that is. Read stories at our, our website. Another book that's a really awesome resource is called Half the Sky. You will probably never know what poverty truly feels like. If you can read and understand this list, it means you have been given at least a basic education, skills, and resources in the world. You can go out and try to experience poverty, but you know that if it came down to it, you or someone else you know would provide for you. Those in deep poverty do not have that assurance, and that makes a huge amount of difference.